Now to your decision 2023 casting your ballot should be stress free. That's what it should be. But many voters out there still have lots of questions about the process. What's allowed? What's not? KPRC 2's Bill Baraja set out to get all of those answers for you to make sure your voting day experience goes as smooth as possible. We are officially on day nine of early voting for the November 7th election at one of the 68 early voting centers. This one just happens to be at the HCC Southeast campus and still a lot of questions about the do's and don'ts when it comes to casting your ballot. So we thought who better to answer some of those questions than the Harris County clerk herself, Tanisha Hudspeth. Uh, thank you for joining us. Let's go ahead and get started. The very first question I have for you is what is the most important thing for voters to know when they get started? is if you haven't early voted and you haven't created a plan, you should do so as soon as possible. And that means going to harrisvotes.com, looking at what location is closest to you and make that plan to vote between now and Friday, the end of early voting. What do you have to have on you when you come to a voting location? Sample ballot is really important. Also, before going into the poll, make sure that you have your one of your forms of seven IDs, right? Driver's license, passport, uh, maybe it's an election day card. What about somebody who might be worried about a language barrier. Sure. Um, so in Harris County, federally, we are required to have four different lo languages on the ballot. Uh, that means when you go in to vote, you see any materials posted, it's English, Spanish, Vietnamese, and Chinese. We also have actual translators at the polls to be able to assist you. You can also, by law, bring in a family member or friend or someone to assist you. You said no uh, phones, no laptops, no electronic devices, right? That's Within right. Within 100 feet? Unfortunately, you can't use your cell phone in the poll. That is prohibited in all polling locations within 100 feet. So, But possibly bring your sample ballot. You can go and print up your specific sample ballot that is tied to your voter registration. You can read it, review it, fill it out, and take it into the polling location with you, as long as it's written material. Any pro tips that you can share with voters? One of the things you can do when you find that post closest polling location, you can identify the wait times. It simply has a green, yellow, or red button, right? Green means go. That means there's no lines at that polling location. Yellow means there might be a little traffic, and red means there might be a line. All right, well, hopefully that clarifies a few things uh, for voters. For more information, you can go to our website, click2houston.com. In Southeast Houston, Bill Barajas, KPRC2 News.